Hi and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Victoria Famia with your top stories from the past week. Thousands of trucks and protesters made their way across Canada this week to protest against COVID-19 restrictions and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's government. The truck convoy touched down in Ottawa's downtown core on Parliament Hill on Saturday. Some protesters said they wouldn't leave until public health restrictions and mandates are lifted or Justin Trudeau is forced out as Prime Minister. The group of truckers and supporters rode through parts of the Okanagan on Saturday and early last week in Kamloops. On Tuesday, vaccine passports were extended in the province until the end of June, and Dr. Bonnie Henry said the mandate is subject to change should the situation improve. In a separate announcement on Friday, Dr. Henry said the restrictions on social gatherings could begin to lift by mid-February if COVID-19 cases continue to decrease. We need to wear masks. We need to keep our groups small right now until we get through this wave too. And we can look ahead to um, a time when we have enough immunity and we have enough control that we can start to open up again and we can take these extraordinary measures away. As we move through this phase, the extraordinary measures will change and we're looking now towards the middle of February and Family Day when we can start to get back to doing some more things again. A houseboat was spotted sinking on Okanagan Lake near the old Tokel Mill site in Kelowna, Sutherland Bay. It was first spotted earlier this month and since then the owner has come forward and is working with the Canadian Coast Guard to remove the vessel from the lake. A groundbreaking ceremony was held in Armstrong for their new City Hall building this past week. Mayor Chris Pieper called the new City Hall another step forward in the city's history. We're really looking forward to uh, the construction of a new hall and uh, providing the community of Armstrong with uh, a new and improved uh, uh, building. A fourth man accused of a grisly Kamloops murder in 2018 pleaded guilty this week. With this week's guilty plea, a publication ban on the Five Guys case was lifted. The five Kamloops men were accused of beating Troy Gold in the fall of 2018 and killing him. Four of the accused have now pleaded guilty to manslaughter while a fifth was acquitted. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Victoria Famia.